Hey everyone, so yeah, we got some stuff for you today. Uh, we're going to obviously talk about our expectation on a Switch Pro reveal this week and when we think it's most likely to happen. We also basically know that Nintendo will be announcing their E3 plans this week. I know, like, we, we were hoping it was going to happen last week and then it didn't. And then the whole week ended with this explosion of Switch Pro expectations. Well, we don't have the Switch Pro expectations at this moment, but we do have expectations of a lot of stuff and we actually have some legit information on why we should expect Nintendo to announce their E3 plans this week. Because basically by the end of the week, we're going to know the entire plans for all of E3. Alright, so first off, let's talk about what we know. We know uh, uh, things about the Switch Pro uh, as an example. Let's, let's start there, right? Bloomberg put out a report last week uh, about the Switch Pro, about how it's going to release in September or October, how the announcement is more than likely going to happen before E3 because third parties are pressuring Nintendo to allow them uh, to talk about Switch Pro games at E3, which they can't do without the system being announced. And then, obviously, uh, a bunch of other insiders and Eurogamer and IGN and others confirmed these reports and said from their own sources they've heard the exact same thing. So what's interesting is the announcement is obviously, quote-unquote, imminent, uh, which means it's going to happen any day. Now, don't expect it today. Uh, if it does happen today, that would be pretty shocking. There's a bank holiday, I think, out in Europe or the UK or something. Uh, we also have Memorial Day here in the United States. Uh, chances are they're going to wait until a day that's clear of all of that, such as Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday. Those are really the three big days I look forward to uh, seeing it announced this week. And I truly think they're going to announce the Switch Pro at the same time they're going to announce their E3 plans. This is because, obviously, if they announce Switch Pro before E3, they're not going to ignore the Switch Pro at E3. We'll get additional details at E3. So that is why I think the announcements are actually going to be paired together. Now, let me explain how we know Nintendo is going to announce their E3 plans this week. The ESA has uh, put out an email behind the scenes to press, and I even got one, even though they don't consider me to be media. Very strange, uh, but there's uh, I'll put a link to a website that has it publicly posted as well. Uh, and what it says is basically uh, that they are going to announce the entire E3 schedule in early June. Now, June begins tomorrow, right? So the first, second, third, and fourth this week happen from Tuesday through Friday. Once we get to next week, uh, that's the week lead up to E3. And if we don't know the schedule for E3, in literally less than a week before E3 begins, that would be extremely strange. So when you hear early E3, that or early June, that we're going to hear about the E3 plans, that makes you think we're hearing about it this week and in one of those first four days of June. So uh, look forward to that because if the ESA is about to drop the entire E3 schedule, we know Nintendo and everyone else is already about that. Now Microsoft went ahead and announced last week. We've had other companies announce uh, here and there, and this week. I am hearing from multiple people behind the scenes that this is when we're going to get everything, which explains why the ESA is going to say, hey, uh, the whole schedule will be, will be announced basically later this week. So that being the case, Nintendo is obviously going to announce as well. Now, is Nintendo going to announce simultaneously alongside the ESA announcement, or are they going to announce before? That's one of the questions we don't know. But what is very clear is that Nintendo will be announcing their E3 plans this week week and that to me is exciting uh i'm pretty pumped we already have such a packed week next week we have the, the summer games fest to take care of uh obviously and then e3 we have a podcast on tuesday podcast this wednesday i hope you guys tune in for that because uh, we're in the final countdown uh into e3 we only have two episodes left before e3 gets here uh and then obviously a special e3 episode so that's going to be wild uh, absolutely wild i can't wait so i'm i'm just excited in general now i have some additional potential information here from Samus Hunter. And as always, when we talk about information from Samus Hunter or any of these other industry insiders, uh, we have to consider it as a rumor. Um, yeah, even though I, I really do trust a lot of the stuff Samus Hunter puts out there, uh, it's still one of those things we have to take into consideration. Uh, so I asked her this morning, you know, have you heard anything lately? 
The ESA just emailed me saying that the entire E3 program will be announced early June, which is obviously this week. And here's what Samus Hunter said, not directly, but my sources from Nintendo, well, of, I, I, I don't want to specify where her sources come from, um, but they said that they have a lot of work planned for this week. I think around the second day of June, we are getting news. So they're thinking, obviously, Wednesday, not Tuesday. Uh, and it says uh, about E3 and Nintendo's plans, it's a major partner of the event, which obviously we know it's a major partner of the event. Them and Microsoft are at the top of this E3 listing. In fact, look at this E3 like tier listing that they put out there. They emailed this to everybody. E3 tier listing. I put it up on Twitter. I thought it was hilarious. I mean, poor old, you know, Norton Gaming in the bottom tier all on its own. Poor little Norton Gaming. Nintendo and Microsoft in a tier up its own, et cetera, et cetera. I, it, it's pretty crazy. So, um, and I mentioned, well, Microsoft's obviously up there as well. Uh, and they said, yeah, Microsoft, you know, uh, was only confirmed a presentation. Nintendo had bigger plans. And, uh, yeah, obviously, that's all Microsoft's confirmed for the moment. Now, I did mention, obviously, to her that, yeah, Nintendo does trio stuff. I'm assuming Microsoft will do interviews and game demos with the host, Greg Miller and such. Uh, but whatever. We obviously don't know that until it gets announced by the ESA. Uh, so uh, she mentioned that Nintendo wants to announce all the major details at the same time. And that's why they're one of the last ones to announce, which obviously makes a lot of sense because if they're going to have the switch pro news and they're also going to have all their other e3 stuff happening at the same time uh yeah announcing it all at once at this point seems to be at least to me the smart bet uh, and that's why i mentioned not because of her just based on logic like if switch pro is going to be announced before e3 and they're going to talk more about it at E3, why wouldn't they just announce it at the same time they announced their E3 plans? And that could explain why their E3 plans weren't announced last week, because they wanted to wait until they could fully um, display all of this information properly. So I honestly think that that's actually uh, a good thing. Um, so then I said, it's interesting, the ESA basically just said the entire show was announced this week. So like it or not, Nintendo is announcing this week regardless. It doesn't really matter what she says. It's just uh, obviously... Either if Nintendo doesn't announce, then the ESA will announce for Nintendo. Either way, we get it this week, right? Regardless if it's the ESA or Nintendo. Uh, and then she said, I'd say yes. I doubt Nintendo distributes important information to marketing departments without having an announcement nearby. And what she's inferring is that her contacts in a marketing department at Nintendo uh, are basically saying, hey, we actually have information now on uh, announcements, information on E3 uh, and because we have this information in the marketing department now, that basically means an announcement is imminent. Uh, same as obviously true what we heard for Switch Pro. So at this point, we'll have to wait and see which day uh, you guys can get your bets in on what day you think it is. Because uh, right now, I have no idea. And I know you have no idea. All bets are off. No, all, I guess all bets are on. Not off, right? On, right? You go ahead and pick your day down in the comments below. Now, obviously, I'm banking on a Tuesday or Thursday since that's when Nintendo traditionally announces things. A Wednesday announcement's not unheard of either. Nintendo, at this point, doesn't really have a traditional day they announce things anymore. They're kind of all over the place. Uh, if I remember right, the Switch Lite, as an example, was announced on a Wednesday uh, in the middle of July in 2019. So, yeah, Nintendo's going to announce things when they announce things. Typically, uh, basically between a Tuesday and a Thursday, somewhere in those three days seems to be it. So, soon. I, I just can't wait. I'm super excited about this. I, you know, the, the announcement's probably not going to happen today during Labor Day, so I wouldn't expect anything today. Uh, but tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah, somewhere in there, uh, we're likely to get all of this stuff dropped. We're, it's exciting that we're on the precipice of these announcements, and then the, all the big news is actually at E3. And if Switch Pro is part of E3, this just takes E3 to the next level. So you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. There is just so much speculation, so much goodness, and so much great things happening at E3. Now, before I talk about some of our E3 plans, because I got to take a moment, first video of the week, need to advertise it a little bit. Uh, I got to remind you guys that, hey, we have a potential giveaway happening over on Twitter for a $50 Nintendo Switch eShop gift card. At Ninty Prime is my user over there. There's a link to my Twitter account down in the description. But the thing is that only activates if we hit 70,000 subscribers today now we have about 700 subscribers to go not impossible to get but obviously a bit more difficult than usual uh so yeah if you guys go ahead and subscribe and help that giveaway activate 
someone is going to win a free $50 eShop gift card. Otherwise, you don't have to do that. We have so many giveaways coming up for E3 that it's insane. $3,500 worth of giveaways happening during E3 itself. Uh, that is awesome. Uh, we have so many partner companies, our own $1,000 plus put into the pool. Uh, great giveaways, consoles and accessories, controllers, games, so many games we're giving away, collectibles, a ton of collectibles, custom handmade items that you'll never find, you know, basically anywhere else. One of a kind items, along with some that, hey, you know, you could actually go out and buy for yourself if you were aware of it. There is some crazy stuff happening out there. The Breath of the Wild E3 2016 collectors going, one of these Breath of the Wild shirts, that's right, we'll be giving away at least one of those during E3. We have so many great things in store for you guys, including the entire show itself, our pre-show, our post-show, we're going to be having special guests coming on for conversations. We have our own conversations plan we have gaming competitions with you guys to win prizes also gaming competitions between me and the co-host to have to do complete challenges if you lose like the hot chip challenge dressing as tingle for an hour those are just a couple examples we have numerous other ones that we haven't announced yet uh, i am just super excited for e3 just for what we're doing let alone all the announcements let alone potentially switch pro let alone probably breath of the wild 2 or something i'm stoked there's so much going on and this is a great video to kick off our week because oh boy we're about to get the, the the news we've been waiting for, at least. Uh, well, Switch Pro, you know, can argue we've been waiting years for that. But also the news on, you know, whatever Nintendo's doing at E3. I feel like it's been building up all month long. And we're right on the precipice of it. If not, I mean, if nothing else, what are we, 11 days away from E3? I mean, something like that, 12 days? Let me think about this. Uh, it was two weeks from Saturday, so 13, 12 days away. We're 12 days away from E3. 12 days. That's awesome. All right, folks. Uh, I'll catch you guys uh, in the next video.